Hey everyone, Scoop Scientist here. We all know how a string telephone works. You talk into one cup and sound travels through the string to the other cup. But how good is the sound quality? I'm gonna test different materials for the string to see what makes the best sound. Plus I will test out if I can send sound through multiple cups so you can have a group call with your friends. So let's do it. When we speak into the cup, our voice creates sound waves making the bottom of the cup vibrate. These vibrations travel along the string as mechanical waves and recreate the sound at the other end. But how much of this sound is preserved, distorted or lost? I've got some cotton string, fishing line and copper wire to test. Okay, so here's the setup. I've got one mic here capturing my voice now and I've got another mic recording on the end of the other cup there. So this is the paper cup and cotton string. Let's see what this sounds like. So with the string uh, not taut, I doubt that microphone's capturing anything from the cup. It's probably just capturing my voice from a distance. But if I start to prompt it, one, two, testing. Hello, can you hear me? How are you receiving on the other end there? Hello, one, two. I'm very curious what that's going to sound like. So next one, here I have the uh, fishing line. So all these tests are identical as far as the same cups and the same length of uh, string. So the only variable I'm changing is what type of string I'm using. So. Let's do this again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can you hear me? Are you receiving? And then if I bow the string slightly, it should disappear. But then as I bring it back to tautness, I don't know if that's a word, but you should start to hear me again. And I wonder if this one is a cleaner sound or not. Curious to find out. Okay, here we go. Copper one is now set up. One thing that I'm hearing on this end, it's actually strange. I can hear that sort of metallic wobble. It's almost like I'm receiving an echo on this end. So the sound is traveling as mechanical waves through the copper wire to that end and then it's reflecting back, it's coming back through the copper wire. So I haven't heard the other end of any of these string cups yet. Um, you guys of course have. But my ob observation just from trying this one is that echo that, um, that I'm receiving back might indicate that the copper wire seems to be more efficient in transferring the um, mechanical waves back and forth. So I'm curious to see what the actual results are for which string is better. Let's have a look at them now. Okay, the results are in. What I found was very interesting and I think it actually makes sense based on the material of the string. The cotton string seemed to receive a mostly clear voice, however it was much quieter than the other materials. One, two, testing. Hello, can you hear me? It was a bit hard to tell with this one because it was so quiet, but I feel like I could mainly hear my voice hitting the microphone through the air rather than through the string. But cotton is a relatively soft and flexible material, meaning it absorbs some of the vibrations, but it doesn't distort them as much. The fibres in the string likely allow a wider range of frequencies to pass through relatively intact. However, it also dampens the vibrations a bit, which is why it sounds quieter. The fishing line was different. It was louder, but not as clear. I think it was missing the lower register in my voice. Can you hear me? Are you receiving? Fishing line is made of materials like nylon or fluorocarbon, which are much stiffer than cotton. This stiffness affects how different frequencies travels through it because stiff materials tend to transmit higher frequencies more efficiently while weakening lower frequencies. These lower frequencies require a more flexible material to propagate through. So that's why it sounded like it was missing the bass notes. The copper string was probably the most interesting one. Copper is a metal and metals tend to conduct mechanical vibrations very well. However, because it's so rigid and dense, it introduces some artifacts. I can hear that sort of metallic wobble. 
Sound waves in the wire can actually reflect internally, causing multiple overlapping waves that create an echo. Unlike cotton, which absorbs some of the sound, copper wire will keep vibrations bouncing around for longer, which contributes to the echo and was the reason why the vibrations can bounce back from the receiving cup to the sending cup, which I thought was really cool. So after all that, even though the cotton string sounded the best, it was a bit too quiet and probably wouldn't transfer well through multiple cups. The copper one was cool, but it had too many artifacts. So I think I'll try the fishing line with the group call string telephone setup. Okay, so here's the setup. I actually have two cups here, um, both of which are connected to that one. So both of these could send a signal to that cup. So if I do this. One, two, three, four. Can you hear me in that receiving end of that cup there? One, two. Let's grab the other one. Hello, one, two, three, four. Checking, checking. Can you hear me? So I'm assuming that that's working. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this one taut somewhere else and I'm going to put the, that microphone there on this cup. So hopefully the sound will go down this string into that cup and so someone can be hearing my voice there. And then hopefully from that cup, the vibration of the bottom of that cup there sends mechanical waves further down the line to this cup. And so hopefully someone can be hearing here and then if you speak in any of the cups, everybody should be able to hear as well. That's the plan at least, so let's do that. Okay, here we go. I'm on the furthest cup away from that one. It's all ready to go. Let's see what happens. Hello, testing, one, two, three, four. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I certainly hope it is coming through on the other end. That would be absolutely unreal. I'm actually just going to preview the file right now. <laughs> it works, it works. Very distorted, even more so. Uh, I can mainly hear, again, my voice just coming through um, the air, not coming through the string to this microphone here. But it definitely works. That is so cool. So how about that? The group call string telephone works. There's so much more that I can explore with these string telephones. I only scratched the surface by testing three materials of the same length. I could also test different lengths of string, different cup materials, and even how many cups I could get the sound to travel through, which would be interesting to see. But that is all I'm going to be testing today. I encourage you to try some different materials of strings and cups for yourself, and let me know in the comments if you do so. But if you did enjoy this video, then please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see future videos like this.